Well, I'm back inside my server today for this video and doing a little late night project because I didn't feel like doing actual work. My poor server's gotten dusty. I think it's from vacuuming in here and stirring up the dust. But I've decided it's time to retire one of my Teslas from my server. And there's kind of a couple reasons behind that. The primary reason is I kind of want to have a loose Tesla to play with rather than using it for server stuff. I thought about buying another one because they're cheap, but it didn't really make much sense. And I also kind of decided that having the 1070 in here might be a little bit better for my gaming VM that I never use. <laughs> oh boy. So, yeah, that's kind of the motivation between removing the oops, Tesla M40. It's been so long, I forgot how to do it properly even. There we go. Uh, yeah, definitely collected some dust. Well, you can't tell on this side. Alright, set that on my shelf. And I don't need this power cable anymore because I'm not going to be running the Tesla. Also, since this cable's been working well, I'm probably going to sell it. Um, now that I have proper heat shrink, I can just cut this off. And I found with, whoops, wrong end. I found with these split connectors, I can just split them apart and then shove each half of the 8 pin uh, through the heat sink. Heat shrink? Gosh. Um, so yeah, I'll be redoing this one and selling it on eBay. Also, I did want to test fit this in my server real quick. This is another one I made for request of a viewer to sell, of course. And the only reason I'm test fitting this is because I'm a little uncertain if it's going to fit. It should. I'm building it basically the same way I have with all the other ones. But I'm a selective perfectionist, I guess you could say. Ooh. Oh, there we go. Yeah, it's kind of tricky because you kind of have to finagle it. And then that, go kind of there. a glove. That should be fine. I might actually pause just to do a power on test. I've already done a voltage test, but I haven't uh, done a power on test with one of my cables that I've made recently, so I will be back. Well, the testing was unnecessary, but I'm happy to find that everything worked as intended. Now, I just gotta take power away from this, and uh, away I go. So, one of the bummers about the GPU switch I'm making is I'm going to have to fix my gaming VM, and it's not going to be like an insignificant fix. So, since NVIDIA kind of sucks, <laughs> although uh, people will probably agree with me more so right now than they would have a little bit ago, but uh, yeah, since, since NVIDIA kind of sucks for reasons other than the 4090 little uh, scandal, um, they don't like it when you virtualize their GPUs. So what I have to do, actually move this hand. What I have to do is go into the settings for the virtual machine and add some variables to hide the fact that this is a virtual machine so I don't deal with the annoying code code 43 error. 
Also, because I don't know what it'll do to the, the performance or anything like that, I will have to remove the variables related to the uh, Tesla cards. There was some extra settings you had to add to allow for the higher memory capacity, basically. But that, I guess, is just uh, kind of whatever. It will be kind of nice having this uh, 1070 in. The Tesla M40s, I believe, are basically similar capability as the 1070. But um, the 1070 is more of a gaming oriented card, so I think it actually will do better for gaming. I think that'll be fun. Not thrilled about the angle on that cable, but I don't really have much choice. That's just kind of where it's going to have to be. Luckily, it's not a 4090, so I don't have to worry about having like a whole inch worth of <laughs> cable slack. Oh, jeez. Although, since it'd make a good good view for the video, bad view for me, um, I think we'll power it on on camera. Everything's nice and where it should be. Also, a thing worth pointing out: I still have these three low-profile slots that need something. I don't know what the future of those are. I don't really need storage since I have 13 terabytes of fairly redundant storage. And I already got 10 gig networking, even though I'm not using it right now, because I have to buy the SFP Plus modules for my Switch. So, I don't really know what I'm going to do with those. They may just stay uh, empty, to be honest. But, I guess we'll plug this in. Also, the interesting thing about running this 1070 is going to be the fact that it has its own cooling. And... That means I'm not necessarily going to have to ramp up the fans to make it work. Take a quick look. Yeah, that should be fine. Although it will get choked out a little bit since there's not a lot of clearance between the fans and this uh, part of the housing. Let's see if we can get a little reach around the camera and nope, can't get around the uh, faceplate with my pinky. I don't see any reason why I have issues, but hey. If my, uh, gosh, $3,000 server blows up, hopefully that gets some views. <laughs> yeah, that works just fine. I didn't figure anything bad would happen. Honestly, the riskier thing is me putting the cover on while it's running, but even that shouldn't be an issue. Although I do get paranoid when I do it. So, my Tesla M40, beautiful card that is, the reason I need this is because I want to test making cables for the 13th gen Dell stuff I have. And the 13th gen Dell stuff is different, so I don't remember which pens it are that are... Um, tied together, but there's two pens that are tied together, which are basically the uh, Sense A and Sense B pens for the PCI Express power standard. And they're jumpered with just a wire going between them. And one of those two pens, I forget what voltage it was putting out, but it was putting out some voltage. And I have a Rack 7910 that I bought, which is basically an R730. Um, that came with the genuine Dell GPU power cables. So now I kind of know what the proper way to wire them is. So what I'm going to be doing here is making an updated Tesla power cable. Oh, this is doing recharacterization since I changed hardware. So it might get a little noisy. Um, but I want to make an updated power cable and then test it between the 13th and 12th gen Dells. The cable I'm making right now oops, should work in 13th gen. I am going to test it, but I'm kind of a little anxious about that too since I don't understand fully how the voltage on the sense pens works. 
I was on the ser serve the home forums and asked them some questions since they're usually very smart and helpful and they were of course like usual I don't know why I should say usually they almost always are because most of those people are at a skill level way beyond where I'm at but um, they mentioned it was like for power draw detection stuff so I'm not really sure what's going to happen so the way I've been wiring my cables is based on how the Chinese aftermarket one I bought originally was wired which has worked just fine it's just with these 12th gen servers all the ground pins have been 0 volts they've been ground and then 12 volts of course on the plus 12 volt pins so I kind of want to figure out what's going on there before I expand the compatibility list and I should probably test the um, other cables I have as well for standard GPUs. The only thing I'm worried about is I'm basically going to be using this R730 as my sacrificial test box. I could do it on the uh, Rack 7910, but I think the Rack 7910 may actually sell better than this R730, so it's kind of whatever. So the plan will be to test my existing cables in the R730. And then once I find out how the, I, I don't really want to say proper, but I don't really know what to say. I guess the Dell way of wiring the cables. Once I test that, I'm probably going to make an updated video on how to make these Tesla cables. Um, these have worked fine. This was the one I was actually using with that card, as you saw me pull out earlier in the video. So there's been no issues there. But it's just a matter of I want to make sure it's done perfectly and by the book. So yeah, that'll be kind of interesting. But hopefully, now that I have that card, I'll be able to take some time to mess with that. Also, now I'll have my 1070 here and that'll be kind of better if I want to do gaming on my virtual machine. Honestly, I don't do much gaming on my virtual machine, so I don't even know why I'm wasting power running that, but that's kind of whatever. I kind of wish uh, GPU mining hadn't died, just because it was nice to be able to make money. <laughs> my my theoretical worthless digital currency. Um, you know, get get that for uh, doing math and generating heat. Although I am I am running folding at home right now to uh, generate heat. And it does get quite warm in here. It's usually in the 80s if I close the door, but um, don't really have a good justification, I guess. It's just a matter of I don't want to uh, heat up my office and have to pay to cool it down while I'm folding, which probably kind of selfish, but I don't feel like my contrib contribution to folding at home is that great anyways. I think all the time I've been doing it so far, I've accumulated like 12 million points, which I don't even really know what that means. So it's like, yeah, kind of hard to tell on that stuff. But either way, hopefully that's interesting. I'm going to be glad to have my server back up and running because it has a lot of stuff on it that I can't access right now. And uh, thanks for watching.